How do you feel when you think about your new belief? Really think about it for a moment. You've already started this journey of rewriting your beliefs, of making that conscious decision to let go of the old, limiting story and embrace something new and empowering. But the question I want you to consider today is this. What emotions come up when you focus on that new belief? Do you feel excited? Confident? Or maybe there's still a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear creeping in. The truth is, when it comes to creating real change in our lives, our emotions are just as important, if not more important, than our thoughts. It's not enough to just think a new belief. You have to feel it, truly feel it, deep down in your bones. Because here's the thing. Your emotions are like the fuel that powers your beliefs. And depending on the type of fuel you're using, you're either going to reinforce that new belief, or you're going to sabotage it before it even has a chance to take root. Let's take a step back and look at how emotions and beliefs are connected. Every belief you have, every decision you make, is tied to an emotion. Think about it. When you believe something negative about yourself, like I'm not good enough, that belief comes with emotions like fear, sadness, or even shame. Those emotions reinforce the belief, making it feel even more real. And the more you feel those emotions, the more you believe the thought. On the other hand, when you believe something positive, like I am capable, the emotions that come with that belief, confidence, excitement, hope, strengthen it. They make it easier to hold on to that new story, to act in ways that support it. This is why it's so important to pay attention to how you feel when you're working on changing your beliefs. If you're trying to convince yourself of a new belief, but the emotions underneath are still stuck in fear or doubt, you're going to struggle. It's like trying to drive a car with the parking brake on. No matter how much you press the gas, you're not going to get very far. So, today, we're going to focus on how you can align your emotions with your new beliefs. We're going to explore how to shift from the emotions that hold you back to the emotions that empower you. And we're going to do it with a couple of simple, but powerful, exercises. The first thing I want to introduce you to is something called naming emotions. This is a simple technique, but it's incredibly effective. When we experience emotions, especially strong ones, they can sometimes feel overwhelming, like they're taking over our whole body. But the truth is, emotions are just signals. They're trying to tell us something. And when we name them, we take back control. We stop letting them run the show, and we start working with them instead. So here's how it works. I want you to take a moment to think about your new belief again. Maybe your new belief is, I am capable of success, or I deserve love and happiness. Whatever it is, bring that belief to mind right now. Hold it in your thoughts. Now, as you focus on that new belief, what emotions are coming up for you? Are you feeling hopeful, excited, or are you feeling anxious? Maybe there's some resistance, some doubt. Whatever you're feeling, I want you to name it. Say it out loud if you can, or just silently in your mind. For example, I'm feeling nervous, or I'm feeling hopeful. Be as specific as you can. You might even feel multiple emotions at once, and that's okay. Name each one. I feel excited, but I also feel scared, this process of naming your emotions does something powerful. It brings awareness to what you're feeling without judgment. It allows you to acknowledge your emotions without being controlled by them. When you name your emotions, you create space between you and the feeling, and in that space, you gain the ability to choose how to respond. Take a moment now to name the emotions that are coming up for you. Notice how it feels just to bring them into your awareness. Now that you've identified the emotions surrounding your new belief, Let's talk about how to shift those emotions when they're not aligned with the belief you want to reinforce. Because sometimes, even when we want to believe something new, our emotions can get stuck in old patterns. We might want to feel confident, but instead, we feel doubtful. We want to feel excited about the future, but instead, we feel anxious. So how do we bridge that gap? How do we move from emotions that undermine our new belief to emotions that support it? One of the most effective ways to do this is through something as simple and powerful as conscious breathing. Our breath is deeply connected to our emotions. When we're stressed or anxious, our breathing becomes shallow and fast. When we're calm and centered, our breathing slows down. So, by consciously controlling our breath, we can actually shift our emotional state. I'm going to guide you through a quick breathing exercise that will help you align your emotions with your new belief. This exercise is called the grounding breath, 
and it's designed to bring you into the present moment, calm your mind, and create space for positive emotions to flow. Here's how it works. Step 1. Sit comfortably, with your back straight and your feet flat on the ground. If you're standing, just make sure you feel balanced and relaxed. Step 2. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs completely. Hold it for a moment at the top. Step 3. Slowly exhale through your mouth, letting go of any tension or stress. As you exhale, imagine releasing any emotions that aren't serving you. Fear, doubt, anxiety. Just let them go with your breath. Step 4. Now, breathe in again. This time imagining that you're breathing in the emotion you want to feel. Maybe it's confidence. Maybe it's peace. Maybe it's excitement. Whatever emotion you need to support your new belief, breathe it in. Step 5. Hold that feeling at the top of your breath for a moment. Really let it sink in. Step 6. Exhale slowly, releasing anything that's still holding you back. Repeat this process a few more times, breathing in the positive emotions you want to cultivate and exhaling the ones that no longer serve you. As you do this, notice how your body and mind start to shift. Notice how you begin to feel more aligned with your new belief, more grounded in the emotion that supports it. Take a few moments to continue this breathing practice and allow yourself to feel the shift. As you continue this journey of rewriting your beliefs, I want you to remember something. Your emotions are not your enemy. They're not something you need to fight or suppress. They are powerful allies in your transformation. If you learn how to work with them, when you align your emotions with your new beliefs, you create a powerful momentum that carries you forward. You stop struggling against yourself and you start moving in the direction of your dreams with ease and flow. But this is a practice. It's not something that happens overnight. Just like you practice thinking new thoughts, you have to practice feeling new emotions. You have to consciously choose to breathe into those emotions, to cultivate them, to reinforce them until they become your new default. And that's the real key to lasting change. It's not just about thinking differently. It's about feeling differently. Because when you feel something deeply, when you truly believe it in your heart, it becomes real. It becomes a part of who you are, not just a thought in your mind. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with one final thought. The journey of transformation is not about perfection. It's not about feeling positive emotions 100% of the time or never experiencing doubt or fear again. That's not realistic and it's not necessary. What matters is that you're aware, that you're willing to notice your emotions, name them, and work with them. That you're willing to practice aligning your emotions with your new beliefs, even when it's challenging. And most importantly, that you're willing to be patient with yourself in this process. Because real change takes time. But every time you make the choice to feel differently, every time you practice aligning your emotions with your new beliefs, you're building a new foundation. You're creating a new reality for yourself, one that's based on possibility, hope, and empowerment. In our next video, we're going to dive into the importance of consistent action when it comes to reinforcing your new beliefs. Because while your thoughts and emotions are incredibly powerful, they need to be supported by your actions. And the more consistent your actions are, the more real your new beliefs will become. So stay with me on this journey. You're doing something incredible, something that will change your life in ways you can't even imagine yet. And it all starts with how you choose to think, feel, and act. Until next time, remember, you have the power to rewrite your beliefs and your emotions are here to support you in that process. You've already taken the first step, now keep going.